Hi, my name is Nathan Chang. I'm the product manager in Adventech in charge of Microsoft Windows Embedded License Distribution and Microsoft Azure Business. In this video, I would like to uncover the licensing model of the most popular embedded OS right now, Windows 10 IoT Enterprise. Win10 IoT Enterprise is a full version embedded OS which carries most embedded OS traits but very easy to use. You can find the comparison to the commercial Windows 10 Pro in the slide. However, many people complain that the licensing model of IoT Enterprise is very confusing. After watching this video, you should be very clear on how Windows 10 IoT Enterprise is licensed and how to select the right license skill for your scenario. First, you need to select the desired servicing model. There are two variants, LTSC, Long Term Servicing Channel, and SAC, Semi-Annual Channel. LTSC is more designed for embedded scenario, which does not have commercial bells and whistle apps, and you never need to upgrade your OS to a newer build. You can lock down your OS environment as what you evaluated at the very beginning. SAC is more close to the commercial Windows 10. You do find inbox apps pre-installed and receives feature updates every six months. Simply speaking, you can just see it as an upgrade of Windows 10 Pro. Though for embedded or industrial applications, we normally recommend LTSC in order to avoid any OS hassle after your OS deployment. Secondly, there are three different levels of licenses, entry, value, and high-end for different processor. Microsoft is giving huge license cost discounts to low computing power devices. So depending on the CPU running in device, different licenses should be applied. For example, entry license for Atom processor, value for Core i3, i5, and high-end for i7, Z Young, etc. You can reference to the table for more information. Anyhow, the key is to make sure you select the right level of license for your device to be policy compliant. Lastly, Windows 10 IoT Enterprise supports two types of OS activation method, PKEA and EPKEA. PKEA is the traditional one-to-one -one product key that the 25 character key is printed on the license sticker and has to be keyed in manually to activate the OS. EPKEA is using a company key acting as a multi-activation key instead. You can pre-build the key in your production master image and deploy the same key to every of your devices. This way, OS activation will be automatically done in the background with no pop-up windows or notifications. The two activation methods have different license to represent. So you need to determine your OS activation scheme before buying licenses. With the combination of variants in servicing model, in CPU level, in OS activation method, it turned out to be many different Windows 10 IoT Enterprise license SKUs. And here is the license SKU list for the latest Win10 IoT Enterprise 2019 edition for your reference. Hope those make sense to you now after the training. If you have more questions, please feel free to reach out to me. My team and I can assist you with our best. Thank you.